all right what is going on everyone and i hope you are all doing well wow it's been so long since i've picked up a camera it's been about since march so what's that five months wow five months since i haven't picked up a camera and i must say in those five months we grew we really did grow our youtube channel is now on forty-seven thousand subscribers five months ago my instagram was around twelve thousand. if you check my last youtube video it was on 12.6 thousand followers now we're almost reaching 70 thousand followers on instagram because to be honest i've been very very consistent with my posts on instagram posting a lot of reels a lot of educational content for you guys on instagram but not so much on youtube but now it's time to get back yes i was caught up with a lot of things i've i moved into my own apartment so i'll do a proper tour soon but this is a quick little look this is the balcony so i'll do a proper tour for you guys another day but yeah i moved into my own apartment now finally got a proper setup as you guys already know i had my own office the contract for that office finished so i started to look for rather than looking to extend my contract at an office i decided to move into my own apartment instead um but yeah so this video is gonna be nice and um a nice way to ease back into youtube i'm gonna do a quick day in the life might have a little surprise throughout this video i may potentially be buying a new car not 100 percent though i'm gonna go view it tonight or potentially even this evening just waiting for a message from the guy that i'm buying the car from and we might be going right now he said come now if you can so we might have to go down and view it and then once we view it, if you guys don't already know i had the rsq3 um which i bought recently in fact i bought it like a month ago um i let it go sold it for the same price that i bought it for so i didn't lose lose on it at all because this guy came to me with this car so i'm not going to say what this car is until the end of the video so you guys can see it but it is a very very bossy car and yeah so in terms of trading as well i'm currently in some ga sales now if you guys follow me on instagram you would have already uh, seen this trade because i shared it to you guys for free so as you can see we shorted ga from up here at around 1.71 down into looking to target some equal lows down here and let me just zoom out a bit as you can see we've got that areas of liquidity and some areas of demand right here that I'm waiting for price to tap in to potentially either close out my full position here or just let it run and down into the to the equal lows down here and in terms of sending proof of the trade beforehand the setup was shared in my discord yesterday at 1:50 a.m okay so the trade was sent to my team way beforehand and if you check my instagram you can see that i sent this to you guys for free and uh, let's check up on how the trade is actually going so it's currently at 7.5k profit it's running at 7.5 hours because i risked a thousand pound on this trade let's just double check on that yep so it's currently up as you can see at around seven hours and we're looking to take profit at around nine to ten hours okay leaving the trade to run uh, to final tp and potentially close it at around um nine to ten thousand pound if it does come down to tp but yeah so i'm going to do a quick breakdown on the trade later tonight so stay tuned for that but for now let's go about our day and go view the car <laughs> And now we're on our way to go view the car. Once I get there, I will sh get the camera out and show you guys the car. All right, and now I'm back in my apartment. I uh, went to go view the car, put my offer down. Now I'm just going back and forth with the owner of the vehicle until I come down to a price that I am very happy with after I saw the um, condition of the vehicle. But anyways, other than that, 
let's get straight into the breakdown of the trade that we took to um, on Thursday. Let's get straight into the breakdown. So, what made me take this trade? So, let me go through an example of what personally validated this area for me and what are the two reasons that validated this zone. So, one is that it took out an area of liquidity. So, what happened is the price created some equal highs. Okay, it created some equal highs. Then what happened was price took out that structure and once it took out that high right there and seek that area of liquidity, it then dropped after taking out that previous low. Now, once that happened, that validate that area of supply for me. Why? Because one, that area of supply took out an area of liquidity. Okay. Just like so. And then it broke this low so if i just zoom into this example actually okay so this is the scenario this is the textbook scenario to what validated my area and made me a lot more confident in shorting and going in aggressive off of that area was the fact that that level of supply took out previous areas of liquidity and then it also broke structure and then all I did was wait for price to pull back into that supply after it sweeped that liquidity and took out that low. And then I entered aggressively um, at the pullback. Well, let's move on to the current price action on GA. So as I, as I was saying, what validated this area of supply for me was the fact that it took out uh, an area of liquidity and it broke um, that previous low. So as you can see right here, if I zoom in, Price built up some equal highs right there and then price came up to take out that equal highs and then it melted over to the downside taking out that low. That was our confirmation to confirm the change in market sentiment from bullish to bearish. Okay, And then once we got that impulsive move over to the downside, price then pulled back filling in that areas of imbalance that it had created after it had impulsed to the downside of, uh, after taking out that liquidity. And then as you can see, price pulled back, filled in that imbalance and tapped into that area of supply we got in at the open of that candle and you can call it the buy to sell candle or an area of supply or an order block they're all the same thing they're just different terminologies okay so i ended up to uh going in for some sales off, off of the open of that candle and as you can see price mitigated us in it tapped into that zone twice but i was very confident with the setup so i did not move my stop loss to break even i left it where it was until we got that impulsive move over to the downside and then price continued to sell off and as for take profit, why was I targeting this area down here? So, as I was saying earlier this morning was price created some equal lows right here. That is a build up of some liquidity that I would expect price to take out throughout next week. Okay. So, once price mitigated this area uh, right here, we got in for some sells. And then price came tapped in. I removed my stop loss from break even, put it back to where it originally was. Price then continued to sell off. And then once it broke that low right here, that's when I moved my stop loss to break even. And now the trade is running risk free. And again, why I'm targeting that area down here is because of that area of liquidity down here. And we also got some levels of demand as well. But then I personally believe that this demand will not hold, which means because of that liquidity right below it. So it's just going to liquidate early buyers in the market, in my personal opinion. Okay, so that's all there was to this setup is pretty textbook and there was nothing really much to it. So to just go over it one more time, this area of supply was validated by two things. The fact that it took out liquidity and the fact that it broke structure. Okay, and the fact that I had imbalance created right after it, that was an extra bonus to validate the level of supply. And I waited for that pullback, price induced that structure right here, tapped into that area of supply and then we went in aggressively off of that area of supply at 1.71 and yeah that's all there was to this setup um and like i said i shared it for free so if you don't already follow me on instagram do definitely follow me there because i do frequently post some charts or trade ideas up there for free so for example i would either post it in a video format or i'll just post it on my story like for example this video right here i broke down my views on the pound australian again this no, was posted about a week ago. So if you guys just follow me there, you'll see quite a few trade ideas being sent out. Um, but yeah, so that's all there was to this video. I know this was quite short and quite, um, there wasn't really anything exciting. It's just because I'm easing back into YouTube and just getting 
the ball rolling but anyways guys i hope you enjoyed this quick video i hope you guys enjoyed this breakdown and if you do have any questions do drop it down in the comment section below but anyways guys it's good to be back and i will try my best to stay consistent and oh yeah most importantly do let me know in the comment section what type of youtube videos you would like to see me doing i've done a poll on my instagram and quite a lot of you said uh you'd like to see more day in the lives but um you guys do let me know again so i can just reevaluate exactly what type of content you want me to create whether it's day in the life mixed with market breakdowns or just strictly education and market breakdowns only without any day in the lives do let me know in the comment section and i'll definitely look out for them anyways guys take care and enjoy your weekend